नमस्ते आई एम डॉक्टर रूमा सिन्हा प्रोफेसर इन गायनिकोलॉजी लैपोस्कोपिक एंड रोबोटिक सर्जन एट अपोलो हॉस्पिटल हैदराबाद टुडे वी विल टॉक फ्यू एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ ओवेरियन सिस्ट इन वीमेन ओवेरियन सिस्ट आर पैथोलॉजी दैट वी फाइंड इन अवर ओवरीज ओवरीज आर टू organs next to the uterus inside the tummy the function of the ovary is to produce eggs the cyst in the ovary is usually pathology and that can be because of various reasons for which it's a kind of bubble that develops the ovary from 3 or 4 cm which is a normal size may become 5 cm 10 cm because of fluid collection blood collection or some other things that get collected inside it and it forms like an outpouching and a kind of bubble that enlarges the ovary the ovarian cyst can be caused by various factors the commonest factor that can cause an ovarian cyst is the hormonal milieu of the women these are called follicular or functional cyst because of abnormal follicular development due to hormonal abnormality the ovaries may develop some kind of cyst they may also develop a cyst which is a corpus luteum cyst as a after effect of after having ovulation so these are all hormone related cyst and soon disappears the other type of cysts that can develop or the reasons for development is, is actually tumor and tumor can be both cancerous or non cancerous so it can be because of hormones it can be because of tumor and these are the usual reasons for which cyst develop in a woman in the ovaries if we look at broadly about the types of cysts that can be there in the ovaries i would say there are basically three types one is the functional cyst related to hormones these cysts can form in any woman who is ovulating so it will be seen in the reproductive age group when the women are ovulating having children and things and so forth these cysts are because of hormones and they may disappear the second is cyst which are tumorous but not cancerous and these are cysts like serous cyst adenoma mucinous cyst adenoma and so are so many different kind of cysts one cyst in this category which is not cancerous but neither a tumor of this form is an endometriosis those cysts are cysts that are collected because of blood collection inside them is a different pathology altogether very painful but that can be one category of cyst in these women the third main category of cyst is the cancer or the malignancy these are again various types of cyst which could be serous mucinous or so many varieties but these are all cysts that can be seen a little on the older women presentation also may be different and these cysts definitely require some kind of surgical or cancer treatment when a woman develops these kind of cysts many times cysts may be totally asymptomatic meaning there is no symptom so you may be developing cysts silently in your tummy sometimes women come to us with big cyst and they think they were just gaining weight so cyst can grow large without any pain and the women can be absolutely painless the other thing that can cyst can do is pressure symptoms that means a large tumor is inside your tummy it can press on to your bladder it can press on to your rectum or it can even sometimes press on your kidneys and the tubes causing little kidney swelling so these are some of the symptoms that can develop or the cyst can give pain pain is usually not so much just because of the presence of cyst but the pain is when the cyst undergoes a some kind of torsion or a movement inside your tummy where it pulls on to the ligament and that can give acute excruciating pain or a endometriotic cyst can give symptoms of cyclical pain during periods which we call as dysmenorrhea can even lead to difficult problems like infertility or heavy bleeding and these are very very specific type of cyst which give long term chronic inflammatory process and give a long term problem to women ovarian cyst pain can be a dull aching pain if there is a very large stretch because of the stretching of the ligaments and the peritoneum or it can give cyclical pain during your periods because of the congestion in that area and those cysts can be big cysts 
different type of cyst or endometriosis can give rise to pain in terms of excruciating pain when the cyst undergoes a torsion requiring a, sometimes even an emergency treatment can give rise to pain during your passage of motions defecation if there is pressure there or can cause irritability on your bladder if the cyst is sitting on your bladder so these are the type of pains that is commonly seen however most cysts are painless and asymptomatic The possible complications of ovarian cysts can be, it can grow too much in size causing a pressure or a mass effect. The second it can rupture inside your tummy and cause bleeding if it is filled up blood or the content of the cyst can spread all over. The cyst can undergo a movement inside your tummy called torsion which can give acute pain or a cyst which you thought or the doctors think initially that it not is nothing to worry right now can turn into cancer in the long term. So these are some of the major problems that can take place. However, asymptomatic large cysts can give rise to something as we call as a non-gynecological symptoms as well. What are these? These can be dyspepsia, that means inability to digest, bloating sensation, dull aching pain, gastric pain. These often suggest that the woman may be having a gastrointestinal problem. But women generally do not report to gynecologists but go to gastroenterology problem in the department. Silk ovarian cyst can also cause this kind of symptoms in women which is very far away from gynecological symptoms but can be there. As I said most ovarian cysts are asymptomatic. So they, most cysts get diagnosed incidentally. That means there was some dull aching pain or some other symptom or the scan was being done for something else. It's not very uncommon that women have back aches, they go for an MRI or a CT and they come back with a report of an ovarian cyst there because the scan was done for something else but the cyst got diagnosed. So imaging is very very important to diagnose. We can clinical examination if the cyst is big, we can diagnose by abdominal examination or a vaginal examination. A cyst can be diagnosed by simple clinical examination as well. But imaging remains the cornerstone in a confirmation of diagnosis of ovarian cyst which could be simplest ultrasound. Now ultrasound for cyst diagnosis especially when there are smaller ones is a transvaginal ultrasound which we do and can pick up these cysts in very small. If the cyst is very large an abdominal ultrasound may be required. But if the ultrasound is not giving me all the information that I am looking at because whenever we have a cyst after the diagnosis that the cyst is there. I need more information. I need what type of cyst it is, whether it is septation, whether it is in 2-3 parts, whether it is irregular, whether it is not regular, what is the content of the cyst. All these get picked up either by ultrasound or we may do an advanced imaging like CT scan or magnetic resonance imaging or MRI. The treatment of ovarian cyst will depend upon two things. One is what is the type of cyst that we are thinking they are and what is the size. Any cyst which is large will definitely require a surgical intervention. But if the cyst is not very large and we think that is the first category that I described is a functional cyst we can observe. The cyst is not giving me any problem, the cyst is small in size, I will observe for few months and see whether the cyst disappears. Second, if the cyst belongs to the second category that means it is a tumor but not cancerous. Then in those cysts we can observe if they are small not giving any problem but they require removal because it is not going to disappear on its own neither any medication is going to help. So when the cysts are more than 5 centimeters in this category we do recommend to remove it. And the last category of cysts which are cancerous we now need to know that at the time of diagnosis this cancerous cyst is at what stage. If it is an advanced stage then the treatment can be neoadjuvant chemotherapy followed by surgery. Or if the cyst is or the cancer di diagnosed is in early stage then we can go for cytoreactive surgery that means complete the surgery followed by some kind of chemo radiotherapy. So this is the treatment will depend upon what type of cyst we are thinking of and what is the size of the cyst. And of course sometimes it also depends upon what age it is presenting. A functional cyst we assume that will disappear in 3 to 6 months. But any cyst which is not functional can remain for long time. And this is how we decide a persistent cyst that means a cyst beyond 6 months not disappearing requires surgical intervention. So the cyst can continue to grow 
if we don't remove it surgically. So we cannot say how long it will be there, but it can continue. The only type of cyst which can trouble women lifelong is endometriosis. Because even if I remove the cyst today, there is a chance that there may be recurrence or there may come new development or the cyst may come back again after a few cycles. So cyst depending upon what type of cyst. But if a cyst is of tumor variety, if we remove it, mostly that cyst is gone. But in many of these cysts in the non-cancerous variety, there is a 10 to 12 percent chance that there may be recurrence either in that ovary or in the other ovary. A malignant cyst or a cancerous cyst will remain as long as we don't treat it. So either we treat it with chemotherapy or surgery and once we treat it, we hopefully try and remove it completely so that it doesn't come back for that women. Today we had a detailed discussion regarding ovarian cysts in women. We talked about what are these, what causes these, what are the types, what treatment can we do. And so it was a detailed informative session which I hope all of you enjoyed. If you have a doubt that you have an ovarian cyst or have been diagnosed with an ovarian cyst, neither sit cool thinking it is nothing to worry about or panic that it's cancer. Please consult a specialist, get your treatment plan or observation plan or further evaluation chalked out. Do it, consult them and make sure you are in the right hands. So stay safe, stay healthy and stay informed. Thank you for joining us today for this session on ovarian cyst. Namaste.